Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. I'm here with Mixed Media Guy. Hello. <laughs> um, so we're going to try something with, uh, what is this thing called? A cake decorator? It's a piping bag. A piping bag, yes. From the dollar store, yeah. where all my good ideas come from. That's right. Um, and we are using the Deco Art Fluid Art Ready to Pour Acrylic. That is a really long name. But... Um, I have used this now, I think in like three videos and I haven't been super thrilled with it. I don't hate it, but I also don't love it. It has a funky consistency and it's a little too thick. So what we did is, I uh, added some Floetrol and water to them. So I haven't tested them yet. So this is also going to be a test of that. I only have four colors. I have a uh, blue, violet, deep turquoise, black, and white. You have the only one that matters. Right. So... Mr. M no, Mixed Media Guy is going to fill up the piping bag while I plug up the hole. Uh, fill it up probably to... Like the bottom of the cup. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then you're going to actually do the piping. I, I don't know if I can actually plug this hole very well, but I'm going to do my best. Sweet. So, and I do recommend just unscrewing the top. Oh, yeah. I so know. we have less air bubbles that. in there. You know, one of these days I'll figure it out. So, from what I can tell, it does look better, fluid-wise. Yeah. It may be a little too watery. I don't know. We'll see, I we guess. We shall soon find out. The tip we're using, by the way, is kind of a... a it's not like a smooth one. It's got, like, some ridges on it. Yeah. So, you all know. So, that'll either be exciting or not. Yeah. We'll find out. Oh, nope. It's definitely not plugged all the way. Okay. <laughs> well, you know, so some is going to come out while we do this. That's okay. But it's the white that was on the bottom, so no biggie. Yeah, I'm holding most of it. I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> so far, it looks kind of cool, though. Yeah. Definitely need more white. Yeah, I'm going to put some more in okay. next. On it! Alright, alright. Maybe a touch more black to wrap her up. Okay. And that'll be it, yeah. Yeah, it's a little hard to, like, I didn't, we didn't measure how much will fit in here. True. So, plus some is coming out as we're doing this, so. Oh, that's factual. Okay. Now you, All right. sir, are Let's the wild one. Let's make a one. cake. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, don't squeeze too hard. It's already, yeah. like. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Can't keep it on the canvas. <laughs> no, yeah, it will. Well, we're definitely getting the purple and white in here. That's for sure. That's pretty exciting. Actually, it is kind of. <laughs> Huh. So Johnny doesn't have the inhibitions I have. <laughs> nope, no inhibitions. <laughs> bloop, bloop, bloop. Okay, good. Good enough. All right. Now you do the... The tiltage. Yeah. All right. Let's see what we've got here. So the turquoise and the black are fairly well hidden. But they're highlighting it in a really cool way. Yeah. But you did also put more white and purple than anything probably, right? Ooh. Mm, more purple for sure. But I mean, I did put a fair amount of the turquoise, turquoise Yeah, it's coming out. And the black, I'm surprised because it usually overtakes, but it's not, which is kind of nice actually. But it's giving it a nice, like, would that be a tint or a shadowing or a, a what's the word I'm looking for? Contrast? A pop? I don't know, something. a pop of something. Yeah. It's like a low light. So that's pretty cool. I'm kind of digging that. There's, um, it has the look of having a lot of air bubbles in it. That's what gets kind of like that pinhole-y look. Yeah. But I actually really like it. Me so, too. And, and the consistency seems good. Because yeah. why I added the flow troll in the water in the first place, which is probably why it has so many air bubbles, because we just shook it all up, yeah. um, is because it had kind of a gloopy consistency, like pudding, you know? Yeah. Anyways, let's let this sit here for a little while. We'll see if anything else develops um, as these air bubbles pop and stuff, and then we'll come back for a close-up. All right, we're back. So some little pinholes in here as the air bubbles are popping. I'm going to do a quick close-up, and then I'm actually going to wait until tomorrow and see how it looks then and show you guys because um, I have a feeling that this might change a bit overnight. So let's do our close-up. Okay, lower right-hand corner. Coming up to the upper right-hand corner. I love that blue that got in there. Yes. So cool. All right, upper left-hand corner. Mm -hmm. 
down to the lower left hand corner. So pretty cool. Alrighty, so like I said, I'm gonna let this sit overnight. We'll come back tomorrow and see how it looks. See you tomorrow. All right, so we're back. Um, I mean, honestly, not really that much change from yesterday, but a little bit. It, I like that it's actually staying pretty much as is. I was wondering if it was gonna be moving around more, more cells popping up, but it seems pretty much very similar to yesterday. So I just wanted to show you guys, it's definitely not dry yet, but you know, it's, it's dry around the edges and then still wet in the middle. I think it came out pretty cool. I will definitely be doing uh, more videos with the the icing thing because I think I would like to try it without so many air bubbles in the paint. And I think that the paint worked better watered down like it is. I don't know how much flow troll and water I added, unfortunately. I just threw a little bit in there and shook it all up. So I think that's Possibly a key with this paint is you might need to water it down a little bit. I still definitely prefer the Arteza mixed pouring paint. I think that stuff comes as close to perfect for the pre-mixed as possible. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Do not forget to check the description for all of the materials used and I'll see you next time.